In this clip, I will focus on the intermediate value theorem, which is a statement on continuous functions on closed intervals. So, what is actually the statement? Suppose that we have a function defined on a closed interval AB such that F is continuous. And suppose, furthermore, that we pick a value C which is in between FA and FB. So implicitly we assume that FA is smaller than FB and that C is a value in between FA and FB. And the statement is that there should be an x in the interval AB such that the value of fx equals c. So we may illustrate this by considering the following figure. Yeah, so here we see fa is smaller than fb and we have a continuous function so there are no jumps in the graph of f. Now take c and look at the level c then the line y you see intersects for some x in between a b intersects with the graph of f. So basically the intermediate value theorem states that there's no holes in the graph of the function. So there should be an in, in, a value in between. An example. How can we use the intermediate value theorem? Well, it has some very nice applications in terms of showing solutions for, for an equation like x plus 2 equals e to the power x. Well, this is an equation which we cannot solve explicitly. But we may show that it has a solution in 0, 2. Why is that? Well, define the function, the help function fx equals e to the power x minus x minus 2. So basically this is the right hand side of the equation minus the left hand side of the equation. Then it holds that x plus 2 equals e to the power x has a solution if and only if fx equals 0 has a solution. Now look at the value of the function in 0. The value of the function in 0 clearly equals is, is minus 1 and the value in 2 equals e squared minus 4 which is larger than 0. Yeah, so we get the following picture. Yeah, if we draw the graph, then actually we see that in 0 we have a negative value, in 2 we have a positive value, and we have a continuous function. So the graph does not allow for holes, so there's no jumps in the graph. So if we look at the graph, then the graph starts in negative in minus 1 and something positive in 2. So it should cross the x-axis for some point, at which the value of the function equals 0. So what the intermediate value theorem says, well, f is continuous, f0 equals minus 1, which is f of a, and now we take c to be the value 0, which is smaller than the value in 2. So this together shows that there should be an x such that fx equals c. So there should be a solution to the equation fx equals 0, so there should be a solution to the equation x plus 2 equals e to the power x.